Hey everyone, um, this video is for people out there who want to create tones for their Apple products, you know, iPad, iPhones, um, I'm not necessarily MacBooks, but I mean, you could do that as well, you know, anything Apple, Apple related, and it's a very, very easy, relatively simple process, um, and it's just a video that is a little more up to date than the, than the previous ones that I found, in the, and if you don't like reading forums or whatever, then, you know, this could be for you. So whatever you need is uh, music, an audio file. Um, preferably an mp4, you know, whatever mp3 works as well, anything that you can use, or that, anything that has audio in it. Um, you would then bring it to iTunes, and uh, from there, you would just select the the song or the tone you want, or the tunes you want, and you'd go to Get Info. Um, so from Get Info, you get a page, or you get something that looks like this, and uh, you just click Options. Um, on Options, you see the Start and Stop. You have to click that, and uh, the only restriction you have to follow when you're making a tone is that it can only be up to 30 seconds long. So, um, whatever audio clip you choose, you click start and stop, and then you can thus, you know, f figure out the starting point of the tone that you'd like it to be, and then uh, stop at 30 seconds um, post that. So that's the only thing you have to follow. Once that is done, you click OK, and uh, from then on, you go to File, Create New. And then AAC version. Awesome. So, as you heard, it's done. It's there. Um, they don't look different, but they are. They are different. Trust me. I promise you. So, <laughs> from here, we'd go to uh, Show in Finder. And uh, here they are. So, one of them is an MP3, and one of them is an MA, M M4A. Sorry. And from here, you would just click it once or you know, to bring up this, and uh, you change it from an M4A to an M4R. Hit enter, and we want to use the M4R. Okay, so from here, we go back to iTunes, and we would thus, and or then, uh, delete this file. Uh, but we want to keep the file. You don't want to. I mean, we want to have it on the uh, on our computer. We don't. We just don't want it in iTunes. So we just say keep the file, so it's not there. We go back to our finder and we click the M4R that we just created, and now it's playing in the background. You can uh, then go to your tones, but mine's already on here, and there it is. And that is the way, that is how you make a tone in iTunes. And it's very, very simple, very, very easy. Um, the steps I found, these are the easiest, this is the easiest way that I found out there. And if there's any other easier ways, then uh, you know, let me know, that'd be great. But uh, this worked very, very well. And I believe, if I delete it from here, that they are still in the tones folder. Yep. And then you can go ahead and add it, you know, to your iPad, which is which would be my iPad. So uh, tones, add to my playlist, and then boom, there we go. You know, they're ready to ready to be transferred over. Simple as that. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, comments, questions, uh, theories, you know. Anything you want to talk about, Jesus, God, you know, whatever, I'm here. So, uh, yeah, you know, you guys have a good day. Have a good night. Great morning. Uh, hope to see you guys soon.